This bridge is like moving for real. You feel it? So fueling up for this morning, we've got a little breakfast here. I call it super fun. It's basically just oatmeal. It's a super foggy day outside in Chicago. It's awesome actually for taking pictures. So basically I'm gonna grab Mike here in a second and we're gonna give you guys our five tips for creating stunning black and white photos. Let's go grab Mike. Mike. So we just arrived downtown. As you can see, it's crazy down here. It's like a bunch of crap kind of everywhere. And it's totally cool and that's the city, but as far as photography goes, we want to keep things pretty simple. Once you see something that's like, oh, that's an interesting shape, kind of like actually right there. It's architectural, it's got some good shape and structure to it. And again, it's incredibly simple. There's always an angle that you can take that's going to make things a little bit more simple. in an environment when you have a bunch of people, really you got two options. One is you could always just Photoshop people out if you want to do that. Two is you could try to shoot for interesting vantage points that just don't have anyone in it. If we can get a shot of the curved buildings in the bean, it really creates kind of like a trippy effect using the reflections. So one of the big things I look for in terms of composition are leading lines. And behind me, we just have like a super great example. Basically, the street continues to converge, disappears off into the distance. And as far as composition goes, this pulls you into the photo, kind of makes things a little easier. On a day like today, it's kind of cloudy outside. We don't have a lot of sunlight, so we're not gonna be seeing a lot of contrast between highlights and shadows like from the sun. So I'm gonna be actually photographing our building here. It's a dark building against a light sky. It gives us our contrast between light and darks. One of the big things that I look for when I'm shooting architecture is symmetry. And symmetry exists all over the place, but sometimes you kind of have to work for it. That may mean you need to just get closer or farther from your subject and just capture that part of the image. Now, I gotta make sure I'm moving left and right. So I wanna be sure to be pretty much right on with the building. And that's our shot. Hopefully we've inspired you to pick up your camera and start looking at the world in black and white. Remember, shooting in black and white is an art form all its own, from the photography all the way through to the post-processing. Take the next step with our pro tutorial, how to master black and white in Photoshop. In just over four hours, we'll show you our professional techniques for getting the most out of light and shadow, form and texture, and tonal range. By the end, we're confident your black and white images are gonna punch with contrast and drip with style. To learn more, click on the link right down below. Wanna go shoot some fun stuff in the city? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we woke up this morning and what? We didn't wake up together, no. We woke up separately, in separate beds. We're not a cult. We don't all sleep in the same giant custom-made bed. Okay? 